Hi DIYers, Joe from Alarm Grid, and today we're going to talk about how to properly test your PowerG CO detector. Now before we get into properly testing this PowerG CO detector, let's talk about why you'd want to do something like this. And it's because CO is very dangerous and you want to know about it if it's in your home. Any device like a CO detector or a smoke detector, they have a button on there that says test, or a lot of them do, or some kind of function for testing the device. All devices out there have a test button on the device or some kind of function that lets you test it, either by sticking a screwdriver in a hole or pressing down some part of the unit. This will cause the device to go off and to send a signal to your alarm panel triggering an alarm. This test though doesn't actually test if the device will detect the gas that it's made to detect. I'm specifically talking about CO detectors and smoke detectors right now. These devices, to see if they work or not, you actually have to take the gas and put it in the device. So we're working with a CO detector today. To find out if this actually will detect CO, we have to get CO in it and we have to see if it goes off. A functional test like this is super important to do, especially for life safety devices like a CO detector, because there's no way that you're gonna know if this thing is working 100% or not. You could go to the store, you could buy this, you could put it up and it could be a faulty unit or maybe something's wrong with it, or maybe something else is going on, and it's just not gonna pick up that gas detection. You don't wanna find this out when there's CO in the home. You wanna find it out beforehand. So these preemptive tests are super important, especially for CO detectors and smoke detectors. Luckily enough, in today's day and age, it's really easy to buy canned CO, and this is what you're gonna need. This is a can of CO, and what it's gonna let us do is test that this detector is actually getting triggered from CO. When you do a test like this and then you put your detector up, your CO detector or your smoke detector for all intents and purposes, you'll be confident knowing that that device is gonna go off when there's that gas or smoke in the house. This is especially important for CO again because CO is a colorless, odorless gas and you're not gonna be able to pick it up. You're not gonna be able to determine if it's in a location or not just by smelling or tasting the air. So how do we test one of these CO detectors with our CO? I already have this programmed in to our GC2 and it's ready to go. The company that makes this, DSC, they actually recommend the way to test it is to put it in a bag and then to spray CO into the bag. Different manufacturers may have different recommended testing methods. So definitely check the installation manual for the device that you're working with to see what is the recommended way to test it. On the back of this CO, we have a button. This button is our tamper switch. So every time that I press this in, I'm gonna get a beep. So don't worry about that too much. What we have to do now is get the CO detector in the bag, get our scan CO prepped, and then we're gonna perform the test. Before putting it in the bag, I do recommend taking the top off of your can CO, taking the little straw, if it did come with that, and inserting it in the nozzle. This is gonna make it really easy to fill the bag with CO. I'm going to take my CO detector, I'm going to place it in the bag, and then I'm going to seal the top until I have a small opening on one side. The back of that CO detector, I'm going to hold down that tamper switch so it thinks that it's installed, and then with this little opening, I'm going to stick my straw nozzle, or the straw that's connected to the nozzle, inside of the bag, and then spray. And if you have two people to help you do this, it's much easier. CO in the bag, and then I'm going to seal it up so you have a closed environment. This can take some time for the detector to go off, so after you spray the CO in the bag, set it down and just leave it until it actually triggers. And we got the alarm. So our test did work and it confirms that our CO detector will detect CO in an environment and trigger an alarm at our panel, which is great. Let's go ahead and disarm. One, two, three, four. System is now disarmed. When you do this test, the CO detector has to, it's gonna take a little time for all the gas to leak out of the CO detector. And as you see, you'll keep getting this alarm. So after you do this, really, what I like to do is take the battery out and let this thing sit in some fresh air. Let it 
completely get all the CO out of the detector. After you've let it like that for a few minutes just to let it clear out, you'll be able to reinstall it and you won't get that continual alarm. If you do have any questions about how to install your CO detector, how to test it or program it, feel free to give us a call at 888-818-7728. Send us an email to support at alarmgrid.com or check out our website at www.alarmgrid.com. If you did enjoy the video, feel free to subscribe. And if you want to be notified when we post future videos, hit the notification button below and we'll send you an update when we do so. Thanks for watching and have a great day.